Well, for this week's WeatherWise segment, I wanted to go over some weather instruments. You've seen me talk about the temperature, pressure, winds, rainfall, and even visibility, but how do we get those numbers? Well, for temperature, we use a thermometer. I'm sure you guys have heard of that. It usually consists of colored alcohol in a glass or plastic tube, and the temperature is measured in degrees of Fahrenheit, Celsius, or Kelvin. Now, for wind speed and direction, we use an anemometer and a wind vane. These little cups, they spin in the wind, telling us the speed, and then that vane points in the direction that the wind is blowing. A barometer tells us pressure by using mercury, a sealed metal box, or a pressure-sensing transducer, transducer, which we actually have on our cell phones. Now, any change in pressure will cause either of those to expand or contract, uh, showing us the pressure in millibars, inches of mercury, or pascals. Now, we also measure the amount of moisture in the air using a hygrometer. Now, old hygrometers used animal or human hair, which changes depending on the humidity. And ladies, you know exactly what I'm talking about right there. Well, newer ones, they measure the electrical resistance in the air, or they measure the mass of an air sample, which is then compared to an equal volume of dry air. Rain and snow are all collected in a rain or snow gauge, and that is going to collect the amount of precipitation and show that either in centimeters or inches. And visibility, that's a visibility sensor. That's going to measure the clarity of the air, which is then converted into how far we can actually see. A beam of light or a laser is emitted from one of the sides, and then the other side is a sensor that measures how much of that light is scattered or attenuated back. And, of course, we measure visibility in miles and kilometers.